Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. Well, today I'm going to show you a cool little uh, texturing trick that you can use on your 3D models, okay? We're going to take a rectangular texture file and we're going to turn that into a circular one. All right, here we go. Hey guys, all right, well, we're in a Photoshop uh, CC 2017 and as you can see, I have a stripe pattern in front of me, right? I actually think it's even a flag, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, stripe pattern. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn this stripe pattern into a radial pattern. So basically, we'll have a texture with green and yellow circles. Now, you're probably gonna think, how does that help me with my 3D model? Well, you need to think about what this will mean for your texturing. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you find a texture of thatch. So let's say reeds on a roof, okay? And they are lined up basically like the pattern in front of you. But you are modeling an African round hut and you want a texture to fit that roof. So where are you gonna find that? Well, in this scenario, you can create it yourself. That's basically the idea, right? So what we need to do first is we need to make sure that we have an image that has a two to one ratio. So if the height is one, the width would be two, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just uh, take this and grab that, go to, uh, hang on. Yeah, there we go, copy. We're gonna go to file and new, and what we want is something that has, like I said, a two to one ratio. So 3000 by 1500. And hit create. And then we're gonna go to edit and paste and we can move this around until we're happy that it's sitting where it should sit okay happy with that all right so we got that covered now what we're going to do next is we're going to go up to uh, filter we're going to go to distort we're going to go to polar coordinates okay and you can choose to go from circular to rectangular or from rectangular to circular that's the one i want so we're going to hit okay now this is going to give you um, a fairly um, good uh, approach but not perfect so now what we need to do is we need to tweak that a little right and where is it free transform there you go and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to push that in until we're happy with the circular shapes like so I think that's pretty good so we're gonna hit enter and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop that so move that in so you can go all the way to the edge if you like and do the same here same on the top and on the bottom and hit enter right and that's all there's to it so uh, experiment with that hopefully you find this helpful uh, if you do please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future videos okay so that said, uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay. See you guys next time. Bye.